Hi there, thanks for having me. Yeah, nice to talk to you, Laurie. I'm actually in the midst of doing my own bathroom renovation, so I'd love some helpful tips on new trends that you're seeing in renovations um, for the washroom. Oh boy, so this is a timely conversation then, isn't it? Yeah, for sure, for sure. You're an expert and I am getting some expertise, which is awesome. <laughs> Well, I think a lot of people need to know that when you start a bathroom remodel, it really helps to start with functionality. It's easy to be distracted by all the pretty things, right? The tile, the color. Uh, but if you start with functionality, you're always gonna be happy. The simplest way to do that is to start with your vanity. Now, the vanity itself can really change the look and the feel of your space, but it's got a, a lot of work to do, right? It's, it's got a tough job, has to hold all that storage. Martha Stewart has a great line of vanities um, that actually can be fully customized. So all the drawers can be made just for you to your own specs um, to really make sure it works for you. The piece itself awesome. too, oh, it's so helpful. Um, the piece can also come all in one piece, right? So the cabinet, the countertop, the sink, um, even the hardware can all come at the same time. So you don't have to run around and make a ton of choices everywhere when this piece comes together. It's a low stress installation for homeowners. And like in regards to starting with a vanity, just to kind of get budget, like where do you think like the budget starts? And I mean, obviously it goes, can go very fast, but sure. Um, like. Where, where do you think like a starting point is if someone's like looking just to do like a quick little, um, you know, fix their upper on their bathroom and, and replace their vanity? Sure, I mean, vanities can be anywhere from a couple hundred dollars to creeping into a thousand, depending on what sort of features you're looking for. Um, and there's certainly always options that you can find that won't break your budget. Uh, and I think it's really about where you're at, what your house is like, right? How much do you want to customize things? And for me, I think it's really about sort of little luxuries, right? Like this mirror in particular. This is a great mirror. Um, it's got a little bit of technology built into it. So um, oh, wow. it looks what does that do? gorgeous, right? It's a good question. It's got anti-fog tech in it, which means in the morning you hop out of the shower, you're getting ready to blow dry and you have to clean off that mirror, right? Always trying to fight that fog battle. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this mirror has built-in anti-fog tech so you don't have to spend any time cleaning that mirror wiping it down uh, and you don't have to install this with electrical or plumbing this is a simple thing that you can just hang on the wall this one's from home decorators collection and it's a home depot exclusive that's awesome there's so much you can find at home depot and like in regards to like trends as far as materials now on a vanity are you seeing anything new um, that you should look out for um, you know, whether it be color or whether it be material. I think it really depends on what style of home you're updating. White is always in vogue. Um, and people are looking to have a little bit of fun in the bathroom too. So you're gonna see some paint colors, uh, some brights, some pops of color, some neutrals too. Um, certainly depending on what sort of home you have. And plenty of bathrooms still have uh, oak or other wood vanities, dark finishes, light finishes. I think it's a, a great spot to express your personality and your space. And, and paint in particular, as you know, is certainly something uh, that can change the look and feel of a space. Um, Home Depot has a great line with Bear called Marquee. And what's really special about this paint is it only takes one coat to get the job done. So if you're oh, doing wow. a remodel, That's crazy awesome. it's so nice, Still right? Home Depot. Exactly. That. Yeah. That's so, so cool. And what is that called again? It's called Marquee. And um, it can be mixed in any color you want. But what I love about it is that coat, it goes on. And whether it's a dark or a light color, you know, that single coat gets a job done. Because nobody wants their bathroom to be down for the count for very long, right? No, for sure, for sure. And are you seeing like um, in regards to tiling any any kind of new features or um, sure. like I, I'm really loving, I, I'm thinking about doing some type of um, like shibori type of look um, cool. in, in the washroom. So, I, you know, I, I've been looking for some kind of like blue and white tone tiles to kind of go with that look of it. Yeah. Um, are you seeing anything new in regards to tile look um, sure. or, or material? I feel like the things that are going strong are always going to be your subway tile, right? It's crisp, it's fresh, it looks good. Homeowners know what it is. They look for it and ask for it if you're ever thinking about resale. Um, and to, to your point with Shibori, it's a gorgeous blue. It looks great with a crisp white. 
Uh, so something like that, if you really want to express your personality in the bathroom, you could be doing that with paint or wallpaper or art, and then you're keeping that tile to a simple classic look like a subway tile uh, or even a hexagon. You know, there's definitely a creep toward hexagons lately. It's a hot trend, oh, wow. but that's, that's something. So cool. Yeah, it's a trend that's not going anywhere, though, because you really don't want to be ripping out your tile. Trends do come and go, uh, but I think yeah. things like tile can stay classic and you can still express yourself around them yeah and how often do you think like just the nitty-gritty like how often do you like regrout your bathroom or recork your bathroom I know I get a lot of those uh, materials at Home Depot all the time sure um, is that something you should be doing like every few years just to kind of keep everything what, what's your recommendation I think as soon as you see a grout line failing anywhere, you should always be fixing it because that can lead to water damage. Um, but most bathrooms, if done right, you shouldn't have to do a ton of updating on them. You know, maybe every 10 years you're peeking at things to make sure everything is in good condition. Um, but truly, it's all about doing it right the first time, right? Whether you're a DIYer or you're looking to hire someone to help you. Um, you know, preventative maintenance is great, but nothing's better than doing it right the first time. Yeah, for sure. And in regards, to, I know that the toilet is always a hot topic, like in, with technology. Is there any kind of new technology or new type of toilets that are at Home Depot to like watch out for as well? Toilet tech is great. I think anytime you don't slam a lid, everybody in the family is going to be so much happier. Um, and there's certainly some cool finishes in that. And things like the shower head, right? The shower head technology, yep. the tech everywhere. Uh, they all should just make your life a little bit better though, right? Like to me, frivolous technology, I don't need it. I want something that's gonna make my day go faster, have the materials last longer, you know, make my home more substantial and, you know, make it a good investment for resale. Yeah, there's so many great shower heads at Home Depot for sure, too, yeah. that you can... And that's you know, an easy DIY. Your, right, you could yeah, definitely you can do that yourself. Your, uh, bathroom into a spa. <laughs> yeah, and also hardware. I mean, I think changing out your hardware is something you could tackle by yourself. Uh, things like polished chrome, oil rub bronze, the hot new matte black, right? These are popular colors, popular finishes um, that are you know, they're not going to go out of style. That chrome is never going anywhere, right? Um, matte black yeah, is a little more trendy. So yeah, but you could do this yourself. This is something that you could really test out your skills and see if you want to take on bigger DIYs, right? Yeah, for sure. And like, um, if I was, you know, like I, I, I am redoing my um, washroom, as I mentioned, like where do you think I should start if I'm doing a total renovation? Like I know that um, Home Depot offers some kind of measurements and, you know, help with um, finding people for installations. Like what would you say my first step is in, in the design process? Sure. I think it's great to collect all your inspiration and then I like to talk to a pro. So um, ideas, you know, looking for them online, walk into a store if you can. Talk to a professional about what you're thinking. Um, they actually can do all of the work for you. There's local pros in the store. Um, also, you can look at homedepot.com for some ideas and inspiration. But having a pro take on your remodel for you means they're in and out so much faster than if you were doing it yourself. Uh, and that inspiration can transfer into your space a little bit quicker and sometimes a lot more affordably too, because professionals get it right the first time. Totally, totally. And you mentioned before home decorators. I don't know if everyone realizes that home decorators is sometimes is part of Home Depot. And that's like where you can get some of the like more furnishings items, right? Is that how it's broken up? Yep, they have a lot of cool lines that are shown at Home Depot, and it's just a brand that's really strong within the Home Depot family. So they have lots of cool, innovative features, and it's a fun, uh, it's a fun, you know, look into a brand that partners and works within Home Depot. Awesome, so cool. Well, these are great tips, and I can't wait to get started. Good luck on your remodel. Thank you. Have a great day.